Hello, good day. So today we'll be looking at um, equation for the access control system. So we'll be um, working on the access control configuration, access control cabling, and um, in addition, we'll be looking at an um, interlocking fixture of the access control. So right now we are working on um, equation uh, DSK2604. T. So that's the model of the equation we'll be working on today. So, and um, if you check at the door side, so that's the wiring diagram provided by the manufacturer of the product for the cabling. So the first thing you have to make sure you um, ensure is the connection of the um, card reader to the control board this is the cabling you are expected to use. You are expected to send the ground of the card reader to come to the ground of the um, control board. W0 of the card reader to W0 of the control board. W1 of the card reader to W1 of the control board. So you follow the cabling arrangements like that. You can actually use your cabling definition, maybe white of range to maybe W1 you ensure you maintain that white of orange to W1 at all cases. So if you can do that, I believe you shouldn't have any issue with the um, card reader section, as in the connection of the card reader. So right now, we'll be talking about the mag lock. This is the mag lock from the design here. You'll see the mag lock has a... Um, uh, uh, positive, this is the door 1, this is door 2, this is door 3, and this is door 4. You see plus 1, that's the positive of the mag lock, and this negative 1, that's negative of the mag lock. So this goes straight to door 1, and um, this goes straight to door 2, while this goes straight to door 3, and this goes straight to door 4. If you are using um, two card reader concurrently, as in two card reader at the same time. What you just need to do is to bring the um, positive of the, uh, oh, back to the card reader, sorry. If you are using two card reader to connect a single door, that is card reader in, card reader out. What you need to do is to bring the um, W1 of card reader one to W, one of card reader two so both of them will match and connect to w1 so meaning you have to match the two card readers together and fit it in reader that you are working on so that's how to do the card reader section so then the mag lock positive one goes to positive and negative one goes to the negative that's how to do the mag lock connection so right now we are looking at the sensor now. This is the sensor, that's the exact thing that do the main operation of the um, interlocking fixture. Because um, without, the sensor, uh, without the sensor, there won't be a means for the um, door to communicate to the controller and um, tell the controller, oh, the door is still open. So, but with the sensor, it will be able to give the feedback back to the controller and with that, we'll be able to have a smooth communication between the door and the control board. So right now, this is the um, sensor section of it. We have S1, we have ground, we have S2. So S1 and S2 will use a common ground, that is ground one will be connected to S1 and S2. Then S3 and S4 will use ground two. Actually, you can use one ground for all the sensor by connecting all the four sensor to one ground. Or you use, because in some cases, you won't be given this ground. That doesn't mean you won't be able to connect. You should still be able to connect all the ground together because they are common. And um, you now use the S1, S2, S3, S4 for the switching. So, and um, that's that about the connection. So in terms of the physical connection, I believe we should have a clear information about that. So, and um, let me just take the camera straight to the control board now. 
and um, this is how the cabling is done here. This is the card reader section. This is the controller section. You can see all the orange are controller. But if you come to this section, you see um, door magnetic and ground. That's the positive. Door magnetic is the positive of the sensor, while the ground is the negative of the sensor. Whereas you see um, plus two here and minus two here. So meaning that is plus two, that is um, the positive for the door, uh, for the maglock door two, and um, negative for the negative of the maglock door two. So if you follow the layout design here, I believe you should be able to have a clear um, installation procedure because it's clearly defined. If you have any information, any question, any further or any further explanation about this analysis, feel free to um, reply in the comment section and I'll be willing to give you feedback on that. So right now, okay, before then, um, we are looking at, um, uh, okay, so that's all the information about that. I believe that's all for now in this section. Then the network cable, you, you know, run your network cable, normal straight cable should be able to do what you need. Run your network cable to your switch for remote management. But if you want to manage it locally, you can just run a straight cable down to your system and you'll be able to manage it effectively. Um, you can take a look at the um, board very well. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I'll be glad to, you know, respond to your question anytime, any day. Thank you very much. So right now, we'll be looking at the software section of it. So we are coming down to the software section of it now. So on the software now, as you can see, we are using IVMS 4200 software. This is the maintenance and management. This is where you add your device. What you just need to do is to go to this section, click on online device, this online device. So with that, it will bring um, the reader here, the controller here. You select it and click on add. You first of all activate it. So after activating it, you now edit the password and the um, username and password. And um, you can also modify the uh, IP address. So then you click on add. Once you add it, it will come to this section of the software. So coming to this section of the software now, okay. Um, it's showing offline right now. Uh, let me connect the network cable to the controller so that we can see the connection, the communication. So, So right now the controller is connected physically to the laptop now and is expected to come online. Yeah, it's online now. Can you see? So it's showing online right now. So since the device is online, the next thing you need to do is to um, come to your device group. Create a group for the device. Make sure they are all on the same group. I mean, all the readers, they will be on the same group. So after doing that, you can see this is door one, wing one, two, three, and four. All the doors will be in the same group. After they are in the same group, the next thing to do is to come to your um, uh, event management. Um, sorry is to come to your access control system. This is the access control. So from the access control, come to device parameter, come to advanced function. Then from advanced function, 
come to device parameter from device parameter it will give you the device here so after clicking this arrow to give a drop down come to the door and the most important important of all is ensure that the door contact the exit type are both on normal open because that's that's the only way it's going to um sense that um the door is doing interlock because that's what the sensor will use in communicating with the control board to authenticate that okay the door is open or the door is closed so ensure is on normal open that's the main thing you need to do so once this is established you have to do this to all the doors this door one this door two you can see this door two is on normal open normal open this door three and this door four so ensure this is done to all the four if you know you are using it for maybe two door you can do it for the two doors so because if this is not done if you select normal close here what you will be observing is that the door will be working efficiently on normal access control as in entering exiting everything will be up working properly so but you won't be able to establish an interlock fixture on it so but the moment you um initiate this fixture putting it to normally open and normally open so automatically the sensor will be able to operate efficiently with the uh, control board and you'll be able to get what you need so um apart from that you know the next thing you do is um to come to your um uh authorization you create a group for the access control to be able to add user you add the controller here so you can click on add select the organization you want and select the controller this is the controller so it will bring all the door here and you click on save you give it a name maybe uh, any name you want maybe let me use as and save it so automatically select one person is requesting we had um user into it but before then you go to the um, user section and do all the normal access control um, operation so this is the person so so waiting for the software to work so you click on add user and um, add the user I wouldn't want to add um, too much information because this is a live form system is going live anytime soon and um, i really wouldn't want to do that but the mo the main information i'm trying to pass is the interlocking feature so once you've done this on the interlocking so i believe you shouldn't have um any further inf um, issue with these because this is a problem i actually experienced myself and i believe it's worth you know sharing with others ensure this is established so maybe in the next video i will give you more detailed information about the um setting up of a complete access control system but in that class i won't be discussing interlocking there so but this we are focusing mainly on interlocking so right now let me just show you how interlocking work on the door Hold on. I have um I have um the one here, you can see the one is there. If you click on this, it will open. If you click on this, it will open. It will only open when this door is locked. Then you now click on this, it will now open. That's the purpose of interlocking. It means one door must be closed before um, the other will be able to open. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your uh, uh, coming to our channel. Thank you so much. Expecting the next video. Thank you. Bye.